so here you are, you're right about living, about love, about relationships and um, you know, lifestyle, lifestyle. Yes. So how how did you evolve through all the subjects? Well, lifestyle became a big issue for me okay. because I was seeing Christians disconnected um, from their worship experience, mm, mm. which I understood from scripture to be my lifestyle versus okay. just singing a song. Yes. And uh, so I was like, what, why are we doing this? I mean, because mm. <laughs> everyone who knows me knows a key phrase that I say, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? You know, yes. uh, when they do something crazy, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. hello, he's watching. <laughs> he's here. He hasn't gone anywhere. The Holy Spirit is inside of mm -hmm. you right now. He's going, oh my God, mm, you know, mm, don't mm. grieve. They talked about not grieving the Holy Spirit. That's yes. his presence that he's left with us to, to keep us convicted. Mm -hmm. You know, um, grace is not just about salvation. Yes. It's about empowering us to do what God says as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So he says, don't don't dismiss that grace, yes. you know, or we grieve the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is resident in us, in us. And he's trying to help us do the right thing. And when okay. we frustrate him and resist his mm -hmm. urging, mm -hmm. he's grieved, you mm -hmm. know. And mm. I don't know, I, I, like I told you my little thing about shopping, I think yeah. I grieved the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I think he was disappointed that I did not pass the test. No, it's when okay. I had some extra it's money. okay. You can't beat you, yourself you about but, that. But I know. I know. That you yes. start to get mm -hmm. when you love God. See, love is not memory driven. Yes. It's not, uh, it's not even word driven. Okay. It's love driven. Mm. And that's why mm. when we get into mm. old conversations about government, yes, I always say that legislation is not the issue. Okay. Heart condition is the issue hmm. because people hmm. disobey the laws of God. So yes. what do you think they're going to do with, with laws? the laws of man? Yeah, so yes. We keep asking people to make laws to, to, to line up with how we think people should be, should living. Be. but that's not the issue. It's really a heart condition issue. Jesus hmm. said, if you love me, you'll keep, you will my, keep commands. my commands. Again, yes. again he exposes hmm. himself as God in that moment. Yes. Because he didn't give the commands. The father is the father. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. but he mm -hmm. lives in the father. Yes. And he only says and does what the father does. does. So um, he is the father in a sense. When you think about us as children of God, um, I am the daughter of George Hammond. Yes. And when he passed on and I came and, and took... Uh, you know, control the, of the estate. Their, and yes. yes. Every time I said something, they say, wow, you sound just like your, your father. father. Your yes. father would have said that. Yes. Your father, our signatures mm. were even the same. Wow. Wow. Amazing. You understand? Mm. And so that is what God wants us to look like. Yes. Him. Yes. And yes. that is the lifestyle part that mm -hmm. I became passionate about Okay. because I'm a relationship expert. Mm -hmm. And for me, everything is about relationships. Yes. And yes. I want people to have the best possible relationship with God. Mm. And he says, mm. be holy for I am holy. holy. Um, um, that word holy is really talking about holistically being whole. Mm. That's mm. why it says that mm. um, God cannot be tempted because he doesn't desire anything outside of himself. Mm -hmm. He is completely whole, completely satisfied, mm -hmm. completely fulfilled in and of himself. Hmm. Everything that he desires is contained, it's within, contained within him. And so mm. now he says that he lives in us. Yes. So we should have the same level of fulfillment and satisfaction and nothing outside of what God desires. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't desire anything yes. outside of what yes. God desires. Yes. So if we really want to look like Christians who change the world mm -hmm. and attract people to the kingdom of God, we have to look like Christians who change the world. Yes. That is profound. We forget yes. why we're here. Mm. Mm. Um, the church doesn't talk about heaven enough. It doesn't talk about eternity enough. Yes. And especially when I came to uh, Africa. Yes. I live in Ghana now. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. I'm part <laughs> Yes, 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 you yes, are. Yes. You are. Am, your I grandma am, is uh, uh, your daily. Yeah. Yes, yes. But <laughs> the thing that I found interesting was just the professional mourning over death. Hmm. It seemed like hmm. death was celebrated more than life. The life. And I was like, hmm. what is the big deal? This person has transitioned into the presence of God. Oh, God. Tom couldn't make up his mind if he wanted to stay or go because mm -hmm. he said to be absent from the body. Hmm. But to be present with to Christ. God. So hmm. why? Yes, selfishly we will miss that person. Yes. But it yes. actually should be a celebration of life, mm -hmm. the next life. Yes. So if we understand that we came from heaven. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're literally ambassadors. Mm. If you go to any ambassador that is taking residence in Nigeria. Michelle, I need you to go on that again because okay. I need it to sink in. 
Okay. So if we understand, <laughs> yes. So we know that we are ambassadors because we, we have come from God. Yes, we have come mm. from heaven. Mm -hmm. We're representing heaven. Yes. We are here to implement heaven's tactics and and um, will in yes. in the universe. That's why okay. we're in the world, but not of, of the world. So if hmm. you go to any embassy here, what yes. do you see? You see the paraphernalia of that country. Yes. And yes. they haven't turned it into little Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are bringing their country to to affect the culture of, of Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. They are here to transact business mm -hmm. for their country, not for Nigeria. Yes. Yes. And so if we understand that as ambassadors, we are here to transact business hmm. for the for Father, the kingdom. not the wow. world. Um, that we are here to represent and enlarge the kingdom, attract hmm. people to the kingdom hmm. by what we put on display as hmm. ambassadors. By what we put on display exactly. as ambassadors. So wow. that's what causes people to hmm. hunger and thirst and want to visit our country, hmm. you see, which is heaven. Which is heaven. Exactly. Yes. So yes. that is what we're here to do, but we get very earth love. Hmm. And most churches teach us how to be comfortable on earth. Wow. So we get very earthbound. Yes, I need money. I need this. I need that. But we're passing through. Hmm. And if we get that in hmm. our mind, like I know ambassadors have a four-year tenure, most yes. countries. Yes. So if you go to their homes here, though they are occupying that space, mm -hmm. they're always ready to go. Ready to leave. Because they know yes. that there's going to be a time. Yes, limit. because it's there's time bound. There's an expiration bound. time yes. Yes, on their yes. appointment, and yes. they will have to leave. Yes. We don't think that way. So we don't invest in heaven. Hmm. And it's just to lay up treasures in, in heaven, heaven, right? So what does that look like in investing in heaven? It means that we're pleasing the Father so much, planting seeds in heaven that manifest on earth because it wow. said that Jesus uh, walked in favor with God, with God. and therefore with man. Mm. So if we're in alignment with him and we're heaven bound, and uh, we're wearing this earth loosely mm -hmm. and uh, we respond to things differently because we're peculiar people because yes. we're ambassadors. Hmm. We speak a different language. Hmm. We have a different diet. Uh, we have different preferences hmm. than the earth. Hmm. We should hmm. anyway. Hmm. Hmm. But when we conform, it says do not be conformed to this, to this world. Hmm. You see? Hmm. So uh, when we're in the heaven kingdom mindset, which we don't think about a lot, yes. um, our values change. Hmm. And we have a different focus, a different perspective, and different priorities. Yes. And we walk differently, but it attracts others to the kingdom mm -hmm. because they want to know, how how are you handling that situation? You're here. This is happening in your life. Mm -hmm. You should be devastated, but you've got your eye on a God that you cannot see. And miraculously, he's working it out for mm -hmm. you. I need mm -hmm. that God. Yes. Yes. You see yes. the difference? Yes. So yes. is, um, if, if you have a different mindset, then people want to know there's something different. They want different to know, yes. You. you become an atmosphere changer. Yes. You take hold of the room hmm. uh, when you walk in. You walk you in and you own there. the room. Yeah. yeah. People uh -huh. want to know what Ooh, gives us so, yes. what gives so much in, confidence. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, God. I that's why I am. But I acted like I did. <laughs> And everybody accepted the yes, fact that I did, you know. <laughs> I know, yes. I know. So we just need to live that life. Yes. We are ambassadors. Exactly. We need to project the kingdom. Yes. So that people want to get to know exactly. where we're from. Yes. Uh, wow. Exactly. Wow. That's, that's Amazing. One of the songs by music ministry. Yes. Um, it says, uh, we set the kingdom culture. You just walk said your music ministry. You talk. just said your music ministry. Yes. Auntie Michelle is something else, you know, she... <laughs> I told you that she's a woman of many parts. She is, she actually runs a music ministry. Mm -hmm. Not only a music ministry, Auntie Michelle acts. Yes. Movies. Yes. And you're just, in fact, now let's talk about your music ministry. Okay. Yes. Well, it's called Relevant. Yes. Um, we call it, we say it's a movement. Mm -hmm. And we write all of our own music. Yes. And we call it Rock Spiration. Wow. It's rock Spiration. Yes. Rock Spiration. <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination of rock, rock? jazz, African rhythm, wow. and re reggae. Hmm. And what we, um, our mission statement really is to make the word of God relevant to every walk of life. Mm. So mm. we really focus on not just the church, yes. but the unchurched, the mm. disgruntled with church, the wow. burned out on church. Wow. So our ministry is very unique. In disgruntled the fact that, with church. Yes. Burnt. Oh, about burn out. Wow, burn out. Of dark time, yeah, you know? you're right. And uh, so we, we, we hope that we bring refreshing and that we make the word relevant and alive again to them. Mm. And we get the opportunity to minister in really unique venues, not just yes. church, or bars. Yes. Um, so we've yes. upset some folks mm -hmm. you know, doing mm -hmm. that. But we I can know. imagine. <laughs> I can imagine because the thing... Yeah. 
Does she know what she's doing now? Yes. <laughs> How can she be going to? <laughs> apologetically rock the house for Jesus. Wow, rock the house for Jesus. They <laughs> say, I need to go back to church. That was amazing. That was amazing because yeah. I mean that's that's another way of bringing them back. Exactly. You know, some people who have been who have felt disgruntled with right. the church, you know, yeah. with the usual. They're up and there. yes. And now you're going to meet them where they are. Yes. You projected Jesus to them in a different way. Yes. In, in, in fact, in a more interesting way. It's because true. they now see that it's not that drab. Uh, yeah. You know? Exactly. They have yeah. parties. Yeah. We did um, a crime mall uh, mm -hmm. sometime last year. And one of the guys that came was the head of multi TV at the time. Wow. And he was a Muslim. Wow. And he came up and he said, I'm a Muslim. I'm not a Christian. But that was the most amazing thing I ever I saw. Hmm. We would hmm. love to be your, your media sponsors. Whatever you want to run, you. you can you imagine can that? Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? You know, I always say to people that it's not just about you portraying or oh, you're yes. christian and that's it because for people who are not christian mm -hmm. if they see your lifestyle yes. which is this lifestyle you're talking about they're going to connect with you exactly. and even want to help you exactly. you know which at the end of the day like you know everything you've been saying is kind of intricately woven yes. because you've talked about being ambassadors and everything like that if you live the life yes you're projecting the kingdom mm -hmm. and that way you're bringing people who don't don't even know about the kingdom yes. to know about it in a very interesting way exactly that they can connect with with. That's right. Wow. Can you imagine? You know, you go to a mall and you're seeing this yes. respiration rock people. You people know? Like, oh my God. What's going on over here? I know. They start, they party. Yeah, because and definitely yeah. there's no way you're going to care that and you won't stop yes. and want to know what is happening. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So, you know, I think that it's very critical for us to stop running around saying, I'm a Christian. I heard this saying once that said, Share Christ as much as you possibly can and only use words when necessary. Wow. So literally wow. our lives hmm. should communicate Christ. Hmm. I am a doctor who happens to be a Christian. Wow. You know, wow. Um, I'm an attorney who happens to be, be a, a Christian. Christian. And hmm. my Christianity makes me more excellent in my yes. field. Yes. Because I can literally tap into the mind of God to get the hidden answers hmm. that the world can't see that, or hear. Hmm. You hmm. understand? Yes. A doctor can now diagnose what the x-rays never showed him because the Holy Spirit wow. is showing him exactly what's wrong with this person. Hmm. So I think that if hmm. we shift our mindset to understand that um, our Christianity is not a title, it's not a badge, wow. it is intricately woven into our it's DNA one. to hmm. be who we, are, who we are, to represent Christ, to look like our Father, hmm. and to hmm. walk in accordance with the Holy Spirit hmm. who's really been given to guide us. And, yes. I mean, have you ever lost something and looked and looked and looked for it and then you stop you said the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. You know yes, it, yes, it. yes, and, and, you go and bam, exactly. just like that. And it's yes. always in some place yes. you would have yes. never looked, you never but thought you about. know that the voice yes. of God yes. led you to yes. this place. Yes, yes, immediately. And I don't know why we don't utilize yes. that more. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Holy Spirit is overworked and underappreciated. Mm, the Holy Spirit is underworked, overworked, overworked and, and underappreciated. underappreciated. Wow, yeah. wow, 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 yeah. wow. Because, because I say to people that, you know, we've reduced the, the Holy Spirit to when we look Things, you know exactly. yeah that's when you remember oh okay holy spirit where did i put that yeah. key where did i put my phone yes. so the holy spirit finds your phone exactly. for you but the you know living your life yes. that the holy spirit should be your guide exactly. you think you can take that on your own you exactly. know you don't call the holy spirit to right. it and that's really wrong exactly. that's really wrong that's really wrong I mean, you know i mean literally I remember Benny Hinn wrote a book years mm -hmm. ago, Good Morning, Holy Spirit. Good Morning, Holy Spirit. Really I remember that book. Encouraging us to really yes. have an active communication and relationship with, with the, Holy the Holy Spirit. Spirit yes. Because the Holy Spirit is the connector to the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. He reveals the heart of the Father, of the Father. and the Son. Mm -hmm. And He also mm -hmm. reveals our heart back to God. Yes. And He also yes. intercedes for us. For us. And the, yes. way, and the proper way. Mm -hmm. Because, you mm -hmm. know, we get into this ordering God around. He said, I didn't ask you to tell me how to do what mm -hmm. I created. Mm -hmm. Mm. You understand? Mm. It's like order. You know, are you ordering me around? Yes. Really commanding yes. me? It says in Isaiah. It's laughable, isn't it? <laughs> it that is. we would it tell is. God how to fix how the situation. To, I know. I know. <laughs> he I know. Everything. Yes. Yes. And he knows best. But... He knows best. Because hmm. sometimes, you know, uh, my 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 brother, when he was two years old, yes. there was a commercial. Um, Ford has a better idea. Hmm. They were talking about how to construct cars in a better way. Okay. And so my brother just never got that word better. Right? He said, Ma, Ford has a quacky idea. <laughs> and it became a duck in our house, you know. But I thought about that years yes. ago. We look at something as quacky, but quacky. God looks at it as, as better. better. Mm. 
Mm. Because mm. he's intentional. Yes, very intentional. Very, very intentional. Yeah, you can say that again. Yes. Ah, Auntie Michelle, you know, I could go on and on and on and on <laughs> with you. You also write mm -hmm. about overcoming. Yes. You speak about overcoming. Yes. I mean, every time I've heard you speak, I'm like blown out. She mm. is. You. What makes you write about overcoming? Well, you know, because I that's what we're about. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that all authors bleed for their material. Mm. You know? I mean, mm. it's it's when you've been through something. Yes. Then you have to share it. I mean, we're blessed to be a blessing, and we, we overcome to help others overcome. We overcome says, to help others overcome. Mm. It says to weep mm. with those who weep. Yes. Mm. You know. So I think that as Jesus came and was tempted in all manners, so yes. he could relate to us and intercede for us properly, mm -hmm. that the author is called to live through different aspects mm -hmm. and then allow God to use that brokenness mm -hmm. to bind up someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Profound, profound, profound. Now I'm going to ask you this question, you know, and it's really in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, people say singleness. Mm -hmm as a stigma, mm -hmm. as something that um, they're quite unhappy yeah. being single, yeah. should that be a state of mind for it a single person? No, it should not be a state of mind. You know, yeah. I think this whole single thing is very cultural. Mm -hmm. And God transcends culture. Hmm. You hmm. know, God doesn't put more rules on top of his rules. Okay. And man does that. So mm -hmm. Everybody should be married by the age of 21 or they're not serious. And mm -hmm. who said? Who, who says? says so? Hmm. You see, mm. um, the Bible tells us clearly in Isaiah that in the last days, seven women will cling to one man and say, just give me your name. I'll buy my own bread. <laughs> so that lets us yes. know all the faith in the world might not get you a man. A man. Um, but if you are submitted to God and, and you, marriage is not your lot, hmm. he will make you happy, joyous and fulfilled mm. Mm. in mm. that state. Mm. If we look at major movers and shakers in the word of God, yes. they were single. Hmm. Jesus hmm. was single. Yes. He's still waiting for his bride. He's still waiting for his bride. <laughs> okay. He's been waiting for thousands of years. You know, you've been waiting for so, ten years. And you, and you're and you're and you're moaning right. and you're groaning exactly. and complaining. Exactly. He's still waiting for his yes, bride. Yes, 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 yes. Paul uh was not married and wrote hmm. most of the hmm. you know, and he's and he addresses it. He says, you know, if you're married, there are other cares that take you away from certain things that you would be able to do. Okay, uh, okay. But now what happens is we just have a bunch of, of selfish married people who do what they want to do anyway. Mm. But that's not totally God's will because mm. he says your first ministry is home. It's home. And he's not a God of confusion. So we've got a lot of houses in upheaval mm. about mm. that because people mm. are insisting on their way mm -hmm. instead of God's mm -hmm. way. So they're actually living single lives mm -hmm. in- As married um, people. Exactly. Exactly. And so then they wonder why there's issues. Yeah, exactly. You know, so so there's a contradiction. There's you definitely. you don't want to be single, right. but at the same time, you get married and you're still living a single yes, life, right. which is not right. Exactly. Because you're actually making somebody else miserable. Yeah. Most times, yep. you're making somebody else miserable. Exactly. And I always say to people that you know, the fact that you're single does not mean you can't be happy. Right. You need to be happy. You know. I call it the double anointing. <laughs> okay. Tell me what you mean by that double time. anointing. Mm -hmm. You have double the time. Okay. Double the money. Okay. Double the space. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Take advantage while you can, because when that other person comes that, into your that, life, that's a good way to look at it. Okay. You don't have to split. You don't have to split. Okay. And, and they might take a bigger chunk because they might not really have their financial act <laughs> together or whatever. You know, so that's going to cause some issues. I mean, marriage oh is a blessing oh when it's done right. Yes. In the right yes. Mindset. Yes. But yes. I think that singles need to be joyous in the state mm -hmm. that they're in and mm -hmm. fully take advantage, mm -hmm. fully um, absorb all the benefits of mm -hmm. that. That's the time to save. Mm -hmm. That's the time to invest. Okay. That's the time to have something to bring to the party. Mm -hmm. I think most people are unhappy as singles because they're looking for someone to rescue them from their lives. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that's because they haven't taken the responsibility of making the life mm -hmm. that they want. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. two single people that are whole, yes, who've got great lives, when they mm -hmm. come together, they create an amazing the, marriage. I can imagine. But if you get two broken people who are mm -hmm. looking for someone to fix their life, mm -hmm. you end up with a mess that usually doesn't work a out. Mess. And we have a, a lot of that going on. Wow. You know, wow. that and then of course, wow. then we can't mm -hmm. ignore the pressure to have children. Yes. And yet we see that um, in the word, God closed Hannah's womb. Womb. Hmm. Purposely did. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. And, you know, I always tell that story and say, Hannah just wanted a son, but God wanted a prophet. Yes. You know, um, yes. what does God really want you to birth? What hmm. does he really want you to carry? Hmm. What kind of fruit is he demanding from your life? It might hmm. not be in the form of a child. It might be in you ministering to hundreds of children. Wow. Uh, or it might be you um, pouring your life into a specific sector of people okay. or doing a specific work that you actually wouldn't be able to do if you had a child. Hmm. But if you get stuck on, oh, you know, woe is me, uh, and you miss the grace. Yes. Jonah said that. Uh, what those he came to realize as he sat in the belly of the fish, I've come to realize that those who cling to worthless idols forfeit the grace that mm. could be theirs. Mm. And I said, God, what is the worthless idol? Mm. And God said, the way you think your life is supposed to be, to be. can become an idol. You can mm. get stuck on your picture of what your life should look like okay. and completely miss the adventure that I want to take you mm. on. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Mm. You lived in America for so long. Yes. And now you're living in West Africa. You're living yes. in Accra. Yes. <laughs> for eight How? Years. Wow. Yeah. You loving it? I'm flies. I do love it. Wow. I think I'm crazy, but I love it. But do you do you miss America? Do you <laughs> no, miss being in the States? Mm -mm, no. Because people think she's crazy. She's lived in the US for so long. How is she going to adapt? And here you are. There You've really lived here for no, eight years. There was no adaptation. You know, uh, my mother is from Barbados. Okay. I went to school in Barbados. Okay. So to me, uh, Ghana is a lot like Barbados. Mm. So okay. I feel very at home. Okay. Um, But the most important aspect mm -hmm. of me being in Ghana is that God told me to move to Ghana. Wow. And when wow. God tells you something, he yes. gives you a grace for the assignment. Yes. Because yes. I, I, I haven't had that struggle. I mean, there are things that are irritating, as we all know. Uh, yes. Life can be. Yes. Um, here. But um, when I get to the States, after two weeks, I, I got to get back home. Hmm. And my friends are like, what? What? But as they start to visit, yes. they go, they oh, see. now we get it. The they there's, understand. There's a child there, yes. You know, yes. That I think is, is a blessing that we take for granted yes. when we're here. Yes. Uh, yes. Of how um, our culture works, mm -hmm. relationships work, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, families work. Mm -hmm. These are precious things that we don't treasure enough. Mm -hmm. Whereas people mm -hmm. in America, they're all on their own. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, here, I think if, if someone is homeless, it, it's really because they're not, because uh, you've got a family. Because you've got family, yes, yes, you know? yes. So there yes. are other issues if yes. you're homeless. It's not, uh, it's not about the poverty or, mm -hmm. or lack of, of, of connection mm -hmm. with someone. Whereas in the States, I mean, your family will throw you out. Yeah. They don't, there's not that same type of um, cohesion. Ties, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. the cohesion, like you said, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, you know, from what you've said, it also shows that is the mindset. Yes. Because if you're coming from the States and you feel that you're leaving something precious behind, mm -hmm. you are never going to exactly. adapt. Yes. So, but if you, I mean, you make up your mind, you know that right. God has told you to move to Accra yes. and you make up your mind that, okay, God has asked me to move to Accra, so yes. I'm going to leave here. Yes. So, of course, you see the, the positive side of, of, of Accra exactly. as you're there, exactly. you know, so everything at the end of the day mm -hmm. is your mindset it's true. and you have to be intentional. Yes. You know, you, you, you talk about it. But most of all, you just have to obey God. Mm. If you obey God, yes, you will find your delight in that. Hmm. You know, it says... I need you to come again on that. If you obey God, mm -hmm. you will find your delight in that. Yes. I mean, I need that to sink in. Yes. Because a number of people, is like, they're not joyous because mm -hmm. they have not obeyed God. Exactly. So when you obey God, you yes. find your delight in God that hmm. exactly hmm. it says the hmm. joy of the lord is your strength yes now we like to think that that means that when we're happy in christ we're strong hmm. but it means when we make christ happy we are in the right position hmm. to be strong hmm. you hmm. understand what i'm hmm. saying it, hmm. it, it's a matter of hmm. um it says when the king smiles there's favor yes okay yes so if hmm. I please God, it literally means that I'm in obedience to God, which is the best position I can be. Yeah, you can which, be. So hmm. we are at our strongest when we are at our most submitted. Hmm. Hmm. Auntie Michelle, I'm picking up so many nuggets. It's like, <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my world. Yeah. See yeah. why you're a teacher? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a big responsibility. It's like... Wait, wait, let me tell you. The way you your... break these things down, yes, Aunt Michelle. I, I was just complaining, complaining yes. to a friend of mine on the mm -hmm. phone. She said, oh, you know what? In my quiet time this morning, 
I read something so profound. Can I read it to you? I said, yes. Mm -hmm. So she gets on the phone. She starts reading this thing. Okay. It's really ministering to me. Yes. And I go, wow, that's really good. What Mm. book is that? She said, yours. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, mm, Dr. Michelle, (laughs) it's been an awesome time spent with you. I could go on and on (laughs) and on, you know, but that's, that's the thing. I think, you know, when you're, when you're speaking with your sister, Mm -hmm. It just, it just goes yes. and flows and you don't even know that time it's has gone, true. you know? So, <laughs> but we could go on and on. I mean, it's been an amazing time. Thank you. I've really enjoyed myself. More than enjoying myself, I've really been educated. Praise God. I've really connected because, I mean, you've really opened up some deep things. Mm. And everyone who is going to listen is surely going to be blessed. And you for being such a an amazing blessing to everyone. I can only but thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being my sister. Thank you for accepting me <laughs> into you your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um, you. before we go, a last one, Auntie Michelle, from you. Well, don't allow your human experience to mar a divine reflection. Hmm. Um, God is the only perfect father. Hmm. He's promised to never disappoint, never leave, never forsake. Hmm. And so we should never mistake his divinity for humanity. Wow. Wow. As we should never expect divinity from humanity. Hmm. We should never expect divinity from humanity. We are human beings that are flawed. But God is divine and perfect. So we have to make sure our expectations are well placed. Hmm. Because disappointment comes from misplaced expectations. Wow. Wow, from misplaced expectations, disappointments would come. Yes. Wow. Auntie Michelle, I could go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Before you start bringing tears out of my oh. eyes, I think we should just, you know, it's been an amazing time. Like thank I said, you. thank you so much for coming on the oh, Now Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Auntie <laughs> Michelle. Oh my thank God. Thank you. <laughs> so, on behalf of Auntie Michelle and I, <laughs> thank you for being with us on the Now Show. We come your way again. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>